Okay. Well, here's the seat cart. She's done. Still have the fenders to add on. Not too sure when I'm going to do that. But for the most part, it's done. Uh, a lot of the questions that I've been getting asked on this, how big is it? Uh, from from the tip of the frame all the way back to the rear end. And we're looking at about uh, 71 and a quarter. Width, 32. Uh, the engine is a 6.5. Uh, I built the pedals out of, out of, you know, a foot of this, a foot of that scrap that I had in there. So this is all built from scrap. In the plans, uh, there's uh, a few things that I did not put in the plans. Where this bar is placed at, you know, the distance. I've got this one set up at, like, from this corner here at four and three quarters. Uh, yeah. And... The steering shaft I got off of a riding lawnmower, so that's not in the plans, but for argument's sake, I'll measure that out from the front face of the steering wheel here down. We're at 20 and a half in the very center, or where I cut it off at. If you remember from the videos, it had this uh, turning cog on there, and I cut that off. In the spindles, I put uh, 10 degrees caster in it. That's too much. <laughs> And because once you sit down on it, it creates more caster in it. So, uh, if you wanted to build this and get, you know, get the plans, when you go to, the plans don't have any caster in it. That'd be up to you to figure out what you want, how much angle back you want to put your, your brackets on. But I did mine at 10 degrees and that's too much, so I would suggest maybe at 5 or 3. Once you get around 7 or more, it, it, it'll increase your caster when the kids sit down on it or, you know, teenager or whatever, if you want to make this a single seater. This cushion that I built is just too thick. Way too thick. It can sit up a little too high. The 15 inch tires that I have back here, I've come to realize that I like using these 15 inches, so on a lot of my builds, I'll use these, type, these size of tires. The reason is, is because, well, let me see, where do I have a set at? Uh, there they are. Because 15, 15, by six, by six. Now how the six, with the six, height is 15. This size of tread is a good size for a riding lawnmower front tire. So in the event that I ever pop this tire or whatever, I know that I can go down virtually any place and get new tread. Well, this doesn't have an inner tube in it, but I'd have to get an inner tube and a tread. So if I ever, if this rubber ever gets screwed up, I got real easy replacements. That's why I like these 15 inch tires because it's, they're easier to replace. I don't have to get online and try to order them from someplace or anything like that. This size of tire is real common for a front tire of a riding lawnmower. In the plans, in the parts list of the plans, I have this gear ratio or this ratio set up on the rear end. I'll tell you where I got the uh, 28 tooth sprocket. Uh, I think it's from that from the master. That's where I got it. This thing goes maybe about 12 to 15 miles an hour. It's not fast at all. Uh, I don't know how much it weighs. But I can't tell you one thing, I am not worried about this thing flipping based upon that speed. <sighs> Pretty solid. I don't have to worry about the thing flipping. It's got enough ground clearance. Uh, it's about seven inches worth of ground clearance here. The front tires, I got a Harbor Freight. Got the hydraulic brakes all set up. I'll show you that in a little video clip here at the end of this video. Cody took this thing out uh, the other day when we were driving it around and Alec was sitting next to him. Hey, we got the brakes all working fine. Other than that, this thing hasn't had any problems. The only, the only problem that I've had was my, I set the spindle up, uh, caster too much. Also in one of my videos when I was building the frame, I ended up cutting, I had the damn plans right in front of me, and I can't believe I totally did this. But this bar and this bar I cut too long. So, you know, like three quarters of an inch too long. It's supposed to be at three eighths, and I cut it at like five eighths or seven eighths or something like that, but I ended up cutting these things too long. So, once I realized how much more I cut them wrong, I propagated that same screw up up to these two. But other than that, this thing went together really well. I haven't had any problems with it, other than the caster, too much caster in. Rear suspension works fine. Seat's too thick, too squishy. So, let's do a quick walk around of it. Also, in my video, when I was, when I was doing my caster, I put too much caster in it. Remember, I had to cut this bar and bend this up. So that way, when I would turn, it, it got way, real close to this piece of steel. Well, when you adjust that caster and put less caster in, then you won't have to do that as much. You can't, I don't know if this camera can pick up the the weld right there. What I did is I just cut down like halfway through the material and just grabbed my pliers and bent it up. Made it even with this, you know, parallel. 
So this is flat straight across, and this from this point back is flat. So it doesn't collide at all. See that? Uh, this is how I set my pedals up. This is just my gas. Put this bar in here to stop it so he doesn't overextend the cable and pull it out from the engine. Uh, that's the brake. Brake pedal. Yeah. And this engine. Didn't buy that brand new. That actually came off of the quad build. Or reverse trike thingy. <sighs> Check out the suspension a little better. Yeah, nice little strong little machine. That ratio doesn't go very fast. It's great for the kids, so I'm not worried about it. Whenever they're out here, I'm not worried about them getting hurt on it. I'm worried about them crashing into something. Yeah. Cody took it out the other day and crashed it right into the steps and bent one of the spindles. I was like, Cody, I just got this done. And he just like looked at me and his bottom lip came out. He's like, I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> it was pretty funny. But yeah, the plans are all available on my site, 25 bucks. Um, so finally I got this thing done. I know there's been a lot of you out there who've been <laughs> emailing me, asking me if when I'm going to get this thing done, but yeah, I know this took way longer than what I wanted it to. Alright, if you're interested, they're over there on my site, 25 bucks, so there you go. If you have any questions, just PM me or email me or whatever. Alright, bye-bye. <laughs>
Hey, isn't it bedtime? Cody, didn't you come out to get Allie because it was bedtime? <laughs> Mommy didn't come out and tell me, so I'm not gonna. <laughs>